Good morning everyone. Today in Max, let's continue with our chapter patterns. So we already discussed what is a pattern. So what is a pattern? Pattern is an arrangement of lines, numbers or letters and it will be arranged in a definite order or at regular intervals. So this is what we learned in the last class and we learned how to arrange numbers and letters in patterns. So today let's move on to the next topic. Our next topic is patterns by stamping. So let's see how we can make patterns using stamping. So here you can see patterns by stamping. So you all know your thumb. Using our thumb we can create different patterns. So let's read it what it is. Creating block pattern For and that instructions are given. Place your thumb on the stamp pad and press it on a paper. So if you're having a stamp pad, you can place your thumb on the stamp pad and impress it on a paper and you can see that you can get a thumb impression there. You will get a thumb impression. With such thumb impressions, create patterns based on your creative skills. So using this thumb impression, we can create different patterns according to our creativity. Here there are two pictures. So let's see how it is made. In the first picture, you can see three chicks. You know how it is made? For that, take yellow color, watercolor or acrylic paint you can use and dip your thumb in the paint. And after that, press it on the paper. You get the impression like this. After that, you can add the beaks and the legs and it becomes a chick. In the next one, you can see a beautiful peacock made using thumb impression. Here also you can see different paints are used. So dip your thumb in different paints and press it on the paper and you can get a peacock here. In this picture you can see the trees, children are all made using thumb impression. For this picture you can draw the trunk of a tree first and then dip your thumb. Here you can see for making a tree different colors are used. So you can also use different colors of watercolor or acrylic paint and dip your thumb in the paint and try to make it a tree. And also you can see two children playing here. This is also made of thumb impression. The thumb is vertically and horizontally placed. The vertical placed becomes the head and the horizontal placed impression becomes the body. After that you can draw the hands, legs and the face on the head. So like this, you can create different patterns using thumb impression. In your textbook, page number 158, you have an exercise. Let's see what it is. Create patterns using thumb impressions in the following figures. So here you can see a flower and a butterfly. Now you can create thumb impressions according to your wish. So this is an exercise for you to do in the text. Now let's move on to our next topic, patterns with vegetables. We can also create patterns using vegetables. So let's see how we can make it. First, let's see patterns using lady's finger. So you all know what a lady's finger is. So with lady's finger also, we can create beautiful designs. In this picture, you can see beautiful flowers. And you know how this is made? This is made using lady's finger. For this, you have to cut the lady's finger into two and take the part which is cut, dip it in the paint and you can see the flowers here are made using lady's finger. You can see here one, two, three, four, five, six petals are there for this flower. So six times that lady's finger has to be dipped in the paint and impressed on the paper to get a beautiful flower. Likewise, you can see similar designs made of lady's finger. Here you can see a flower and a leaf and it is painted using the lady's finger. This flower and leaf is dipped with lady's finger print. And also a star, fish and different shapes are also made of lady's finger print here. In your textbook page number 159 you have an activity to do here you can see a card is given and bottom of that card is painted using the lady's finger you can create beautiful design on this card according to your wish 
Next, you have an activity. You can see a beautiful butterfly here. So this is an activity for you to do. First, you have to draw a butterfly on a paper and then create beautiful designs using lady's finger. So this is an activity for you to do. Next, let's move on to our next one. We can use potatoes also for printing, for making patterns. You know how this ladybug is made? For this, cut the potato into half and then place the potato in a red paint and press it on the paper. You will get the body of the ladybug. Let it dry and then draw the head of the ladybug and draw line and dots on this body to get a ladybug. So this is also an activity for you to do. So there are two activities using ladies fingerprint you have to draw a butterfly and using potato you have to make a ladies bug. Now let's move on to our text page number 159 we have an activity let's read what it is. Max lab activity make bangles and earrings or a necklace using paper cutouts of different shapes that is circle, square, triangle, rectangle etc. Join the shapes using a string. The final outcome may look like the figure given below. So here you can see a figure given below. The final outcome will be like this. So do go through the activity and do it accordingly. Let's move on to our revision station. Page number 160. So let's see our first question. Complete the pattern by drawing and coloring four more designs. So let's look at our first question A. Here we have a triangle, circle, triangle, circle. And we have to draw the missing patterns there. Now let's see in this triangle you can see one dot. And in this circle there are four dots. Again a triangle has one dot. Next, the circle is having four dots. So which has to come next? Triangle, circle, triangle, circle. So next we have to draw the triangle. So draw a triangle and one dot inside the triangle. Next comes the circle. Draw a circle and we have to draw four dots inside it. And again, triangle, one dot, circle, four dots. Likewise, you can complete the rest of the exercises. Now, let's look at the second question. Draw next three shapes to continue the sequence and color them. So, let's move on to our first one, A. Here you have square, circle, square, circle. Now, we have to fill in here the missing blanks. So, what will be coming next? Here you can see a square, circle, square, circle. The next again will be a square. Again, a circle, then a square. So similarly, you can complete the rest of the exercises. Let's move on to our next question. We have the third question. Follow the pattern and continue the sequence. Here we are having number patterns. So let's look at the first one. Here it's given 91, 89, 87, 85. So if you check it, you can see that the numbers are moving backwards. So you have to subtract. Now let's take the first two numbers. The first one is 91 and the next one is 89. So we have to check by how much these numbers are decreasing. So 91 minus 2 is 89. We need to check when we subtract 2 from 89, are we getting the third number? So 89 minus 2 is 87. 87 minus 2 is 85. Now we have to find out the rest of the numbers. 85 minus 2 becomes 83. Then again, 83 minus 2, 81. 81 minus 2 becomes 79. So complete the exercises. Let's move on to a fourth question. Make two number patterns of your choice. So here you can make any number patterns according to your choice. Let's move on to our next page. We have a worksheet there, page number 161. So let's look at the first question. Given below are grids in which each row and each column follows some patterns. Look at the patterns and fill in the blank boxes. So we have two grids here and we have to create the patterns. So let's look at the first grid A. Here you can see vertically in the first box 
16, 14 is given. So we have to complete the rest of the boxes. And in the last box, it's given 8. So 16, 14. If you notice, you can see that it is decreasing. 16 minus 2 is 14. So 14 minus 2 is 12. That we have to write here in this box. Again, 12 minus 2 becomes 10. Now 10 minus 2 is 8 and that 8 is already given there. So likewise, you can complete this grid. Now let's look at the second grid. Question B. Here, horizontally, you can see the numbers 23, 26. So you can see that the numbers are increasing. So we have to add the numbers. So 23 plus dash is 26. So 23 plus 3 is 26. Now what we have to do? 26 plus 3. We have to find out how much is 26 plus 3. It is 29. So here in the third box we have to write 29. Next what we have to do? 29 plus 3 is 32. Again 32 plus 3 becomes 35. So likewise, you can complete the rest of the grid. Let's move on to a second question. Interchange only two shapes or numbers in each row to correct the pattern. So the pattern is not given in order. We have to interchange any two patterns or numbers to make it in an order. Let's look at the first one. Here you can see in between, in the center there is a square and four squares each on each sides. Let's move on to a second one. Here you can see a square in the center and two squares on each side. Third one, a square in the center and you can see four squares on each side. Let's move on to a fourth figure. You can see square in the center and three squares on each side. So is this in the correct order? No, because the figure which is having three squares on each side should come here in the third position. So here this picture should come here and this picture should come here. So you can draw an arrow like this to show that the pictures has to be interchanged. Now let's move on to a second one. Here you can see a horizontal arrow, vertical arrow, horizontal, horizontal, vertical. So is this in the correct order? No. Horizontal, vertical, horizontal, next pattern had to be this vertical. So here you can interchange this. This picture has to come here and this picture has to come here. Likewise, you can complete the rest of the exercises. So with this, we finish the chapter patterns. We'll be meeting in the next class. Till then, thank you.